Hey guys, what is up? Tara Arts Movie here with another super exciting tutorial. And uh, today, I'm gonna be um, answering uh, a question that uh, I always receive, which is how I color grade all of my short films and all of my videos and uh, export it as a lot. A uh, lot uh, stands for lookup tables. If you don't know what lot is, uh, you can always, uh, <laughs> there's a thing called Google and the YouTube, you can just type in like a lot, there you go, and then there you go, a lot of explanation about lot, and also tutorials, and also some products, and from Film Riot here, I love this uh, uh, lot tutorial and explanation and blah blah blah, uh, ooh, one of them is mine, <laughs> from two years ago, alright, so, uh, what I've been using for the last uh, couple of years, uh, what software? that I use to color grade all of my movies, as you can see here. This is just for example, by the way. Uh, as you can see here. And basically all my movies. Um, I use this software. 3D LUT Creator Pro. Amazing software, very easy to use, very, very easy, yet very powerful software. You can go to 3dlutcreator.com. Uh, start from $99. It's really, really worth it, guys. It's the best from all of the software I ever used, I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright, so uh, for the footage, I downloaded it from the uh, forum blackmagicdesign.com. You can also download this uh, video. This is a raw file from Blackmagic Cinema Camera. So there you go. Alright, so let's just jump in into the tutorial. Alright, so um, this is the after and this is the before. After, before, look at that. Look at that, very, very beautiful color. And uh, yeah, I'm using a lot that I made myself called Terrace Movie Lot. There you go. It's like a teal and orange style. All right, so to begin, of course, you have to have your footage. Let's say this is your footage. And because this software, 3D Lot Creator Pro, uh, it can't um, import a video file, but it can, it can import uh, an image file. So all you're going to do from Premiere Pro is go to here export frame click that and then you can browse uh, to save your file you know anywhere you want and then name it here blah 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 and then click ok and then open it up into this software well the, the first time you open this software is gonna be of course like this I'm gonna just reset this all like this and then you're gonna file open image you're gonna open your image file that you captured from your footage and then it's gonna be uh, like uh, uh, loaded here Alright, so here we are inside a 3D Lot Creator Pro, right? Uh, so this is the software I've been using. And then uh, first of all, don't forget to go to File, Color, Color Management, and then go to Disable CMS. Uh, so when you export your whatever you're working here as a lot, uh, it won't be different when you import it to uh, your editing software. Alright, so let's just get started. Uh, let's say I'm gonna make some lookup tables, uh, probably the most mainstream one nowadays, uh, teal and orange, probably. <laughs> but I want to make the blue color uh, is a little bit, um, uh, a little bit uh, 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 bluish, like 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 this blue right here. Uh, by the way, you get a lot of color space here, and right now we are on HSPE, but on this color space you don't see that dark blue color why uh, when i i want that i want that dark blue color uh, so to have that you can change it uh, for me i'm gonna change it to mxye and boom there you go that that is the dark blue color that i that i love <laughs> all right so uh probably we're gonna uh, go to curves as you can see here if you see up here you got a b which is this uh, palette here color palette and then you got c l you got curves we gotta go to curves to just uh, make a quick color correction, uh, not so detailed because uh, we're gonna make a lot, which is a lot is like a, a color grading uh, preset, but you can still change it later in the post, so you will understand later. All right, so uh, make a point in the shadow area. Probably we're gonna punch it down like so, and then go to the saturation here. And then in the middle, in the mid-tones, we're going to punch up the color a little bit. Well, uh, here's the tip uh, for, for color grading. Uh, just, you know, do it 
like just overdo it inside this software and then later you can just uh, with the uh, Lumetri you can uh, push put the in intensity down you know later you know what I'm saying so just just overdo it instead of underdo it you know you know what I'm saying <laughs> just over it a little bit and then uh, we're gonna punch the vibrance which is the saturate like saturation but uh, more into the shadowy area which is you're gonna click in the shadowy area here and then punch it up a little bit and there you go uh, enough color correction for me I think uh, and then you can play yourself you can go to Luma here and then you can go down here to RGB curves if, if you want this is the green uh, yes whatever you want all right uh, and then uh, there's 2d curves you can also play with it look at that amazing the software is amazing bunch of tools and really really good you can you can play with with it with with this all all right so uh, color correction is done for me let's color grade this video um, you can go to volume uh and you can see this a little dot here uh you can look at it you can move it around to change the uh pivot of the um color for me probably the most interesting one is like so as you can see the red is kind of you know a little bit more uh uh shiny <laughs> and then you're gonna go to channels and uh, probably play with this if you want to make like teal and orange where you know the red color become a little bit orangey look at that you can do that by playing with this color here and look at that there you go and let's say from the a b um palette here uh we're gonna change this uh area here to be bluish why do i uh, do i know that this area is gonna be bluish well uh, color grading is not about just you know hey th there's a footage uh, you can color grade it whatever you want uh, you have to also think about it when you shoot the uh, scene for example the behind the scene of this footage as you can see here this is a tungsten light bouncing out uh, uh, of the ceiling and then hit the uh, actor uh, right here so this area with the tungsten light when you color grade it uh, you change the temperature and etc it's gonna be bluish so for example this light here with the yellow uh, thingy here is gonna be yellow whatever you change whatever you try to change the color it uh, the color is it's gonna be uh, still a warm color so just uh, make sure you remember that all right so um for example here if you go to temperature temperature down here make it like a little bit to the left as you can see here the um the uh the area right here is gonna be a little bit uh colder as you can see here look it's gonna be a little bit cold just like so all right so now uh, let's say i want to make this area a little bit bluish all, all i'm gonna do is uh click this area and then drag it to whatever i want as you can see here this area becomes blue but there's problem uh all of the color becomes blue as you can see here in the color palette here every color is moving uh, kind of to the left well we don't want that all right so we're gonna control z to undo that first of all we're gonna make sure to click on every single color that represent the skin tone so on the skin we're gonna double click here for example and then double click here double click here on her face here double click double click double click double click on every single uh uh color that uh, represent the skin double click double click and as you can see here in the in the color palette here there there are uh suddenly a a bold square here which means we just locked all of the color so if you move the color the other color uh these uh uh bold uh square thingy <laughs> isn't going nowhere look at that look at that all right so that's it that's all you're gonna do now if we change the blue color here this blue point here which is represent the area over here look at that let's let us change it to uh, a little bit to the uh, cyan area here look at that it changes to blue but uh, the, the rest still the same but as you can see here because uh, if we change the area here the purple area here is kind of changing too so the purple color here is kind of changing as you can see here if let's say you don't want that let's say you don't want that all you're gonna do is double click 
on the point surrounding that point that you want to uh, change. And then now you can move the point and uh, the rest of the color will not change. This software is that crazy, guys. <laughs> it's that easy. It's that crazy. But look at that. Look. You can basically just pick any color and then change it to any color. How 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 crazy is that? How crazy is that? I love this. <laughs> I love this software. Right? So, <laughs> look at that. Look. <laughs> All right. Let, let's let's say you finished here. Uh, let's say uh, probably. There you go. All right. So uh, let's say you are done here, and then you're gonna export this as a lot. So you can open it up into Premiere Pro. Why? Because LUT is very, very light on any editing software. Lookup tables is very, very light. It's going to make your computer like slow or something. All right. So uh, all you're going to do is go down here and save 3D LUT. Or you can go to File, Export, Export 3D LUT files. It will be the same. You can also send it to Photoshop, by the way. If you if you get any pictures of photo, if you're a photographer, not not just like a videographer, you can also use this. So it's crazy. And uh, save 3D LUT. And then let's say it's us movie tutorial. And then click save. And go back to your editing software. For me, it's uh, Premiere Pro. And uh, depends on what your editing software is. For Premiere Pro, you can type in Lumetri Color here. And then click and drag it here. And then go to Creative Mode. And then from the look here, you can go to Browse. And then there you go. Your LUT. Boom! As you can see here, still in the yellow color here, up here, which is, uh, you know, well, still very, very light. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, so, like I said before, you can overdo the color grading in this software. Why? Because you can fix it in this software. Why? Because LUT is like a preset, but you can, you can still, you know, change it later in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the um, your editing software. So, for example, in Premiere Pro, there is a color uh, tab here, which is very useful. And as you can see here, ooh, at the at the scopes here, ooh, a lot of uh, color that uh, below the zero. If you don't want that, well, if this, if this, uh, if you like this, well, there you go. But if you don't like that, uh, because color is all about style, you know what I'm saying. But uh, if you let's say you don't want that, you can go to creative here and the saturation down until it's well. Just make sure it's uh, above zero. For example, the vibrance also a little bit down. And there you go, look at that. And let's say, oh, the uh, highlight part is overblown and you want to, you know, uh, make it a little bit better. And you can go to basic correction and probably the exposure, just punch it down and then bring back some, probably some highlight a little bit. Well, you can help it with the light, I think it's just like that from the beginning <laughs> so it's gonna be overblown anyway all right so uh there you go look at that look at that <laughs> i mean it's it's really easy it's i mean why what what is this look it's really fast and the integration between these two software is just very fast i mean all i gonna do is just you know export some frame from some scene go here blah 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 and then done done and done Alright guys, so that's it. That's how I color grade all my movies and uh, videos using a software, amazing software I might add, the 3D LUT Creator Pro. And you can go to their website, 3dlutcreator.com and yeah, buy, this, buy uh, their, their software. <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you find this tutorial useful. If this uh, useful to you, well, I hope so. <laughs> and uh, see you in the next videos and tutorials. Ciao.